all publicity is good publicity? We're not so sure. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 awkward live musical performances. Can't get enough music in your life? Then be sure to head over to Mojo Travels to see some great ways to satisfy both your inner audiophile and your wanderlust with our list of the top 10 music festivals around the world worth traveling to. Click the link below. For this list, we're counting down the most cringeworthy, unbearable, and downright uncomfortable live musical performances. Number 10, Lana Del Rey, Saturday Night Live. Swinging in the backyard, pull up in your fast car, whistling my name. This 2012 performance marked one of the few times an artist had performed on SNL before the release of a full album, and the reaction was less than overwhelming. It's better than I ever even knew. They said that the world was built for two. Upon the release of singles like Blue Jeans and Video Games, Lana's music was said to have cinematic qualities. It was acclaimed by critics and fans alike for her emotive and nostalgic rhythm. However, when she took the SNL stage, our favorite new glamorous indie artist no longer allured audiences with her smoky voice and was suddenly being slated for her show. Blue jeans, white shirt, walked into the room and know you made my eyes burn. Number 9, 50 Cent, 7th BET Awards. When 50 descended onto the stage in Los Angeles to perform his track Amusement Park, he severely embarrassed himself. The host spoke for audiences both there and at home when he asked, Ben, what's up, man? I'm trying to figure out where everybody at. The founder of G-Unit tries to recover by pretending he just doesn't care enough to rap the first verse. 50s diehard fans will argue that this was on purpose, or that maybe he forgot the lyrics, and tried to disguise it by pretending he was going to greet Snoop Dogg with a high five. What's up? Yeah. What's up? The rapper later admitted the latter, revealing that he couldn't concentrate after he was unintentionally bumped by a dancer, meaning that the man who was shot nine times had to once again snap into survivor mode. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up, put your hands up. A tiger. Number 8, Katy Perry and the Backpack Kid, Saturday Night Live. For my shellfish or a this hyperactive pop star has attracted a lot of attention since her hit single I Kissed a Girl was released in 2008. I a girl, but I did. One of the more notable moments was this 2017 performance on SNL which left people laughing uncomfortably. Swish, swish, fish. Another one in the basket. Katy Perry loves to push the latest trends, whether it's dabbing or attempting the floss dance, a dance move inspired by the Instagram famous Backpack Kid. You about to show them, right? You got bars? The Backpack Kid was then invited by the singer to perform with her on the show, and he ended up stealing it. Number 7, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Saturday Night Live. It's not always been plain sailing for this iconic band. When struggling to deal with their newfound fame, former guitarist John Frusciante developed a drug problem and began to show a lack of passion for music. Friction between him and lead man Anthony rocketed at this 1992 SNL gig, with John reportedly almost getting into a fight with one of the crew. Apparently, Madonna was also on set that night and had upset John by blanking him. Anthony has since accused John of deliberately playing badly, and many believe his off-key performance to be a way of trolling his own bandmates. Number 6, Mariah Carey, Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest 2017. Well, happy New Year! As we said goodbye to 2016, pop superstar Mariah Carey headlined ABC's New Year's Rockin' Eve, but her performance certainly wasn't rockin' at all. That was amazing. In fact, the New York Post labeled it disastrous, with the singer failing to deliver any of the notes to her songs at all. We can't hear, but I'll just get through the moment, okay? 
and yet she remained on stage, determined to give some kind of performance. The result? An awkward moment that lasted longer than anyone had hoped it to, leaving fans to shudder their way into the new year. What do they want me to do? I don't know what they want me to do. Fortunately, the songbird Supreme got another chance a year later, and gave it her best shot at redeeming herself. Number 5, Kesha, Saturday Night Live. Now, now, I wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Grab my glasses, I'm out the door, I'm gonna hit this city. While Kesha hit fame with breakthrough single TikTok in 2010, she left SNL audiences shocked and appalled that same year. Her two song set featured body paint, laser beams, and dancing astronauts which apparently was just too much for some people. Ain't got no money in my pocket, but I'm already here. Some critics even went as far as calling it the worst ever. Did anyone ever stop to think, maybe we are the aliens? We guess Kesha's not for everyone. Not to be deterred, the American singer would release her sophomore record in 2012 and launch a supporting tour the next year. It's Saturday night. Do you want to make out? Number 4, Miley Cyrus and Robin Thicke, 30th MTV Video Music Awards. Despite being several years old, this one still seems fresh in people's memory. It would be an understatement to say it raised a few eyebrows. A show that went viral for all the wrong reasons, Miley came out onto the stage twerking and rubbing her foam finger in places we didn't want to see, and afterwards said that she felt such a sexualized performance had become expected of her. While Cyrus has since changed up her image to a more conservative one, there's no denying that seeing a former Disney star grind on Robin Thicke's crotch was very uncomfortable for everyone. Number 3, Ashley Simpson, Saturday Night Live. On a Monday, I'm it's debatable whether you can even call this entry a performance, as Simpsons' 2004 live set is over almost as soon as it begins. Before she's about to perform her second song, a vocal track for the wrong tune starts to play. So the singer tries to make up for it with a strange dance, before walking off the stage entirely. After the show, she tried her best to explain herself alongside host Jude Law, but the error was met with huge backlash and unsurprisingly didn't do her career any favors. Ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? Live TV. Exactly. I feel so bad my band started playing the wrong song, and I didn't know what to do, so I thought I'd do a hoedown. <laughs> Credit where it's due, though. After Simpson walked off the stage, her band simply carried on. Number 2, Corey Feldman, Today. As if it wasn't already attracting attention for discussing pedophilia in Hollywood, Feldman's publicity certainly didn't slow down after this bizarre performance. A long time after he'd starred in such films as The Goonies and Stand By Me, the child star donned the Today stage in 2006, hoping to promote his new record, and was relentlessly mocked for it. If it isn't the cringeworthy dance moves or bad vocals that are unsettling enough, well then it's the puzzling background of his backing band. Dubbed The Angels, they certainly go for it with Corey, but we're not quite sure what it is supposed to be. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1, Britney Spears, 24th MTV Video Music Awards. Two 
2007 was not the best year for Britney. After checking out of rehab and infamously shaving all her hair off, her performance of the then-new single Gimme More was difficult to endure. Looking uneasy and self-conscious, it's clear she didn't have the right professional help around her at this time, as she came out onto stage scantily clad and unsure of the lyrics. For a decade, Britney was the princess of pop and was very much in the public eye, with every detail of her personal life making front page news. Just around the time that her public image was shifting, a lackluster show like this unfortunately summed up how things were going for her. Luckily, she'd bounce back the next year. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.